Can I make it up here? Oh, yes. Pathfinder. Shit, I went the wrong way, didn't I? I think I did. Yep. The building's the other way. Here it is. No! You fucking idiot. I pressed jump and he didn't jump. Probably because the frame rate was dropping. So it probably dropped the input. Jump! He didn't jump. He still didn't do it. Did you really expect to come into my home without being invited? Whoa! Bad idea. But now that you're here, maybe there's still a chance you get to leave. What's this? No, I'm a betting man. If I wasn't, we wouldn't be in this situation together, would we? More oh shit! You, the poor fucking bad boy, wouldn't be in this situation. So I want to make you a deal. Okay. This house has been rigged with a very special security response system. Yeah. If you figure out how to disable it, your boss will take his credits and you get to walk out on your own two feet. On the other hand, if you don't figure out how to disable it, well... Well, I think I'm dead. So, it was a special booby-trapped fucking building. <clears throat> I have to figure this out. Huh. It's a special booby-trapped puzzle room. I gotta figure out how to get- how to survive it. I thought I had figured it out, but then a fucking gas sprayed in my face. That's kind of interesting. A secret rigged room. Finally, they fucking pu they punish you. How dare you loot everything? Now you get trapped and killed. Hmm. Let's try again. I already did it. Good luck. I already did it. I disarmed it. I had to grab... There was a gas mine on the wall. I grabbed the gas mine. Then I was able to turn this off. And I turned the bomb off. And now I'm fine. So I did it. Okay then. Nothing else in here? House AI. Nothing suspicious here. There, I did it. I survived. Look. The all worked like a charm. Why is this an email from him? The all worked like a charm, Vaklov. Right. Worth every credit. Why you have to be like that, huh? If I can't disarm the trigger before the time runs out, they literally yeah. choke on their money. Anton Sushinak. 
That wasn't a very smart idea, Tony. You're putting me in my shop at some serious risk. If Otar and those potato drinking goons find out I helped you fleece their system, they'll kill me. So it was what's his name? The guy who helped me with my enhancements was involved with this. Well, I did it. I disarmed it. And uh I got the credits that were in the locker. There was only like a couple hundred though. It wasn't that huge of a deal. That's it. Nothing else in here. Okay. That was kind of cool though. It was unique and different that that was like that, you know? Alright, so where's the side quest? This way. Let's do the side quest. Continue on with it. Alright. Oh, excuse me. I can fall and not get hurt, thank God. Swinging left and right. I want the double dick. <laughs> the double dick attachment, please. That's interesting. Get the double D. <laughs> nice. Anything up here? No. <laughs> No, there's nothing up here. There's no reason for me to be up here. Nope. Alright, this way. Ah, manhole. Well, we haven't even been in the sewers in this area. Lucky no. This fire. Might freeze to death. Just this way, look. Huh. See a few items over there. I can get to it from here, though. It says it's locked. Locked? How do you... If it's locked, where is it connected to? I don't know. There's no hacker panel here or anything. Huh. This is no way. Oh. Well, that goes down into stinky gas area. I'm not going there. All right. This way. Oh, shit. This way. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I hear whispers in the wall. They speak the truth. You sure it's not in the to go that way. I wonder what's over here, though. going on here? A bunch of civilians live down here in the stinky sewers. There's really nothing here. No. Alright, let's go back to the mission. <clears throat> Okay. Sideways lockers. Oh, whole thing got tipped over. It says I gotta go this way, but how? I gotta get up there. This was like a dead end. I pressed jump, but okay. <laughs> oh, 
I can't get there. <laughs> oh, God damn it, it flew off. Oh, I climbed on top of the light. Never mind. I grabbed the light, which I didn't even know you could do. This doesn't look like the right way, man. Maybe it is the right way. Pocket secretary. I wanted to read the pocket secretary. Here we go. I have unhooked our computers from the death trap of a generator as requested. Our network is safe. Nonetheless, I am using this power source for some of our appliances. Do not touch it. I got the coffee machine set up just right. Oh, boy. Let me save. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. <clears throat> right now, they don't know I'm here. I want to know more. I want I don't know what that just did. I have no idea. Surprise! <laughs> don't shoot. Shit. We're journalists. Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You you here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base. The, the, the clones. The, the clones on the moon base. Who, who sent you? I'm here for Sam as dad. Are you in charge? I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right, man, and the, and the collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose? You break my nose. You, his nose has been broken before. I didn't come to break anything, I just need you to cooperate. Here we go. <clears throat> I didn't come here to break anything, I just need you to cooperate. I spent my 20s in the commune, man. I'm all about cooperation. <clears throat> it's about something you've been looking into. It's making some people nervous. What do you know about Praha Dovos? Well, that little import company? Oh, look! I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of men. Pull them all back and you'll find them. Tell me I'm wrong. We gotta convince him otherwise, I think. <laughs> right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? You men in black types, you walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sam is that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. So they're talking about Samizat and K, which is them, of course. All right. 